In this video, I'm gonna break down the differences in architecture in San Francisco, dating back all the way from the beginning of the Victorian era and going all the way through the Edwardian era. Now the Victorian era starts in 1825 and goes all the way through 1901. That is during Queen Victoria's reign. And the Edwardian era starts in 1901 and that's during King Edward's reign. And that goes through until 1918. There's a few Victorian era specific only types of buildings out there, architecture out there. There's a few that have that started in the Victorian era and they kind of bled into the Edwardian era. And then there's a few that only started during the Edwardian era that we'll finish up on. And we're gonna start with the Gothic Revival, 1840 to 1890. Now this home right here in Pacific Heights is a perfect example of a Gothic Revival. It is actually listed for sale right now for $14 million. What you're looking for in these, you're looking for pointed decorative windows, group chimneys, pinnacles, battlements and parapets, leaded glass. Sometimes you'll see rounded clover shaped windows and a lot of extended windows. Italianate homes were built between 1850 and 1890 and this one here in Lower Pacific Heights is a perfect example. It last sold in 1995 for $469,000. And what you're looking for in these is you're looking for a stone look. Now they used wood to build these in San Francisco in the US but they were trying to go for that stone look. So you'll see a stone looking wood. You see a lot of tall narrow bay windows that are curved or arched and a flat lower pitched roof with a lot of decorative brackets. That's gonna be a dead giveaway for these Italianate homes. You also see a lot of triangle tops on doorways and on windows, and the porches have a lot of columned front doors. Next, we're gonna look at stick style homes that were built in 1860 to 1890, and we're still in lower pack heights here, and we're checking this one out now. This was taken off the market and was listed to sell for $11 million back in 2017, but did not sell. And what you're looking for with the stick style, you're looking for these overhanging roofs, a lot of siding and stick work applied in various directions, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, just a lot of different directions and different types of woodwork being used. You see a lot of big square bay windows, triangular or sloped pitched roofs, and vertical trim at the sides of the windows. As we go into the Queen Anne's, now you start seeing that homes are starting to be built past 1901, so they bleed into the Edwardian era, but we still are in the Victorian era. So these Queen Anne's were built during 1880 and 1910. Still in Pacific Heights, which is just a phenomenal neighborhood if you're really interested in architecture. You see everything in Pack Heights. It's one of the most expensive zip codes in the city, if not the state. It's just a gorgeous representation of all the different types of architecture that you find in San Francisco. This one has no record in the MLS and the multiple listing service. Service, so I have no idea how much it sold for. It may have just been in the same family since construction. It's really hard to tell. What you see in these Queen Anne's is a very asymmetrical facade, a lot of different crazy things going on. You see multiple roof shapes, large chimneys, a very dominant front facing gable. And when I say gable, I mean it's got a triangular roof, but then a different triangular roof that goes up against it in a different direction, like this one here. You will also find towers, multiple towers sometimes. And the porch is almost always going to be covering the front facade, including the primary entrance area. You'll see multiple porches, multiple balconies, and a lot of leaded windows. This one here is in San Francisco's Forest Hill neighborhood, and it is a really great example of the arts and crafts movement that was from 1890 to 1910. What you're looking for here is this rustic appearance. You'll see a lot of projecting eaves, overhanging rafters, and this flared shingle roof line. You will also find a lot of exposed natural materials, stone and brick. And when you see this brick, it doesn't necessarily mean this is a brick foundation. There's not a ton of brick foundation homes. More times than not, this type of brick, especially the homes that were built after 1900, are not gonna have a brick foundation, it's just the facade. You see a lot of large leaded glass windows and square chimneys. This home right here last sold in 2019 for $4 million. The next one I wanna look at is a shingle style home built from 1880 to 1910. So this one also covers the Victorian and the Edwardian era. This one here we're looking at is in Presidio Heights and it last sold in 2022 for $6.3 million. Shingle styles are gonna be mostly covered in shingles, mostly covered in wooden shingles. They're gonna be shingle wrapped around the corners. You're gonna see irregular steep roofs and you'll see groupings of casement windows or hinged windows that open up. Next, we're gonna look at Tudor Revivals. This home is in Russian Hill. It last sold for $8.8 .8 million in 2021. And what we're looking for here is steep wood shingled roofs, intersecting gables, stacked chimneys, chimney pots, 
a lot of casement leaded windows, and you'll see oriel or bay windows. Oriel window meaning it protrudes out like a bay window. Tudor revivals were built between 1890 all the way up until 1940. And the Mission Revival, this is going to be the last one we're going to talk about from the Victorian era, built from 1890 to 1920. We're in Buena Vista right now and we're looking at this beautiful example. This last sold for $5 million in 2020. And what we're looking for on these types of homes is a these dormer roofs, which means they protrude out. They give a little bit more living space inside the home and they have windows on them. So if you've been up in any attics in the old Victorian homes, you, you know that they're all very triangular and they start to get a lot shorter and smaller when you get towards the roof line. But these dormer roofs address that and they protrude out and the windows are out. So it's a lot more living space up there. Most of the roofs are red tile and they have these wide overhanging eaves that are arched on the entry porch. You'll also see these bell towers and they almost always have the smooth stucco walls. Next, we're gonna look at the Craftsman homes. These were built from 1901 to 1930, so this is only in the Edwardian era. And we are in San Francisco's Westwood Park neighborhood. This is a perfect example of a Craftsman. It's not in the MLS, so I don't know when it was built or who owns it or what it sold for, but this is a, a perfect example of a Craftsman. And what you're looking for is a lot of native, natural building materials that kind of blend in with the nature, blend in with the area. You see a lot of low-pitched roofs, projecting eaves with exposed, overhanging rafter ends. And you're gonna see a lot more of the casement windows in bands of three. Another signature for the Craftsman are these open porches. The last two we're going to talk about today are very similar Spanish Eclectic and Mediterranean Revival. These were built between 1915 and 1940 and right here we're in Miraloma Park and this is a great example. This home sold for $1.8 million in 2022 and what these have are low pitched red roof tiles with little or no overhang. There are arches over the front doors and the most prominent windows are right beneath the front porch. And I think the only big difference between the Spanish Eclectic and the Mediterranean Revival is Mediterranean Revival have the large windows, the primary windows are over the garage. And both have the stucco walls and a very asymmetrical facade. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Eric Thrum and I'm a realtor here in San Francisco. I make a lot of videos about different types of architecture. I'm going to make a lot more. I also make a lot of neighborhood review videos and tons of other videos that will be helpful for home buyers and home sellers. I help folks just like you buy and sell homes every day in San Francisco. If this is the type of content you're interested in, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be the first to know when I drop new content. And if you're looking for a good realtor to work with, my contact information is in the comments. I hope to hear from you soon and until then I will see you around the bay.